Hi, this is our telepresence display wall that gives me a view of this remote room from my own perspective. And because it's displayed life size from a perspective that changes as I move around, I get a feeling sort of like this is an extension of my current room. Donna? How is the paper coming that we're working on together? That's great. Uh, David, I see you've been taking up the guitar recently. Oh, well, yeah. Is that some new chords I hear? Well, good. Not good very well. <laughs> Are you ready to yes. make your reservations for Japan? Yes, I think that uh, Osaka should be good at this time of year. I'm looking okay. forward to going. Thanks for reminding me. Henry, I'm reading this book you gave me, Multiple View Geometry and Computer Vision. It's really excellent. I'm glad you like it. It's one of my favorites. It is a really great book. This is our 3D capture area, which is approximately 15 square meters. Scene acquisition is performed by an array of 10 commodity depth cameras. This is the camera coverage of our system. As demonstrated, we obtain good coverage of the surfaces seen by a user looking into the center of the room. To produce the images that you are seeing, the data from the depth sensors is processed using several steps, starting with this raw data. The data is converted into a triangle mesh, holes are filled, the data is smoothed, and the ragged object edges are trimmed. The data between cameras is combined using a quality-weighted data merger algorithm and is color matched. The data is presented on a two-panel display wall shown here. A 2D camera provides a view to users in the 3D capture area, and a depth camera is used for tracking. To obtain the correct perspective for a user of the system, eye tracking is employed. To obtain the correct perspective for a viewer of this video, the camera is tracked using a color marker as shown here.